today we will be experiencing something super, super exciting. Guys, did you know how expensive a dummy is? The car is over there. There is the collision point and then we have one wheel right over here. Pretty safe to say that this place inside a Mercedes is like one of the safest. There is not even one single damage on the hyper screen at all. Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the all new EQS SUV and the all new EQA and we are at a very very special location here in Stuttgart in Sindelfing at the Mercedes-Benz Safety and Technology Center and today we will be experiencing something super super exciting. I mean we've already seen Mercedes-Benz doing safety and crash tests all the time. We've seen all the footage online or we've read about it but today Today we will be experiencing a real-life crash test to demonstrate that the electric vehicles, the all-electric vehicles that Mercedes-Benz is building are as safe as all the other models. It's also the first time that Mercedes-Benz in general is showing this to the public because we are here at the original place where Mercedes-Benz is usually testing, crash testing their cars. You can also see we have the cars already ready and we have dummies sitting inside. So in this scenario we have an EQ as you can see here is also the facelifted model and the EQS SUV. Both of these cars are fully electric. The EQS SUV weighs around 3 tons whereas the EQA is at around about 2.2 tons. We have both of these cars fully electric and at this point this is exactly the point where they will be crashing in a few hours. That's where they will be colliding head on with a 50% overlap. Let me just come a bit closer then you can just see that I'm not allowed to touch anything as they've already prepared everything here. The cars as you can see they've been painted in this crash test paintwork. Also here on this car here in specific. These cars they always been chosen uh, randomly at the production line. It's super to know that. So the EQS SUV will be coming from far behind over there and the EQA will be coming from this side over there and they will be going with a speed at round about 56 kilometers an hour and yes they will be having a head-on crash here, a frontal crash as you can already see and we will be experiencing this for the first time ever. I'm super excited and also super thankful to be seeing this, especially at this special location where Mercedes-Benz is originally testing and crashing all their cars for multiple years now. But before we do that, we'll be also showing some super interesting facts about the safety crashes and everything that Mercedes-Benz has developed after all these years. So let me show you through. So before we show you the collision and and uh, the crash test in specific Mercedes-Benz has prepared a few things here. Uh, we have a cutaway model of the new EQS, we have a few dummies here and also the ECF models, the experimental safety vehicles that Mercedes has shown us uh, in the past few years. Uh, let me just show you this cutaway model in specific first. This is based on the EQS limousine as you can already see. It's also the one coming with the uh, Drive Pilot Level 3. You can see this by the lighter sensors. It's super super interesting to see in inside the car and also the overall structure of the car. First things first, you can see all these colored parts. Mercedes-Benz has done that to demonstrate you the specific materials used. You can see that here on the display. The red here is the high strength steel, then the bright blue is the cast al aluminum, and then we have the normal aluminum sheet metal, we have the steel here in the back, we have the hot formed ultra high strength steel, and then we have the extruded aluminum parts also here on the side. Apart from that, in the inside of the car you have some very very interesting uh, features. For example, all the airbags, the way they pop out, you can see here for the knees. Then we also have an airbag that pops out of the driver's seat to protect the collision between the driver and the co-driver here in the center. It's super interesting to have that. Also here, the main airbag here, which is sitting in front of the co-driver, uh, didn't pop out yet. But if that pops out, you have the full windshield covered to protect both the driver and co-driver. Also here in the inside of the steering wheel, you can have a first view and glimpse of how it looks like when you have a cutaway uh, of, of the steering wheel and the airbag in specific. It's very interesting to see that at uh, seated here at this point. We have a lot of sensors. For example, the crash sensor which is sitting in the center of the car is super interesting. Apart from that, you can also see the way that Mercedes-Benz has protected the cars uh, in terms of the battery.
battery safety because uh, Mercedes-Benz just want to show us that the EV cars is as safe as all the other cars for example here with the cast aluminum is way more thicker to protect the passenger and the battery in specific to make the car as safe as possible. On the right hand side we have an already crashed EQS limousine as you can see they've done a side collision on this one testing it and then you can already see the airbags that popped out here in the inside has an overall view. In specific I have to say guys the inside looks super super safe as you can see all the airbags popped out but apart from that there's no glass shattering around or the displays everything is safe. Apart from that we have the dummies on this side over here. Guys did you know how expensive a dummy is? This for example is the latest dummy version is a tour dummy and it costs approximately like something around 750,000 euros and Mercedes has around 120 of them. So imagine how much that costs the company. Apart from that these they use it for I think approximately 30 years for multiple testings and uh, when they for example break something they can easily replace it so uh, that's no problem. Another interesting thing that I have to mention is that you have different dummy models. For example, this one is the biggest dummy model. It's at, uh, I think, 1.85 meters tall with a weight of 95 kilos, making this the biggest dummy model that we have here. But uh, we also have some uh, smaller models for the babies, for example, right over there is a one year old dummy model and a lot more. Also female dummy models, which are a bit uh, smaller, also have less weight. These even weigh like a lot, it's so uh, heavy to lift them up. Really interesting, full of sensors. Test them also the way you can just move them around, just like very natural. And the dummies, they make occupant protection measurable for men and women. Very cool also for children. Last but not least we have the history of the Mercedes-Benz experimental safety vehicles always known as the ESF models. These cars always come with the latest safety features is experimental concept cars because uh, with these cars for example they try to invent things that will be coming in the future. With this one we had the uh, latest pre-safe safety functions coming and also the future vehicle safeties, uh, the child safety and also you can see the side airbags coming uh, and the all around driver safety. We had the high beam coming with this and the headlight unit and the interseat protection for example, a belt bag coming with the S-Class in specific. But these cars here in specific for example they came back in the days with improved bumpers. They came with the ABS, the anti-lock braking system. Uh, so these were the beginnings of Mercedes-Benz safety and you can see the way they have developed and I think Mercedes-Benz is one of the top models when it comes to, to safety inside and outside the vehicles, which they will be demonstrating to us today as well. So this is the crash scene afterwards. As you can see, we have the EQS here. We still have all the experts working on the crash scene in general. We also have a lot of uh, cooling liquids leaking, as you can see. We have the EQA completely destroyed. But as soon as we have a closer look in the inside, especially, you can see there was no harm to the passengers, to the drivers and else. We have all the airbags popping out, the co-driver's airbag, the main one, the driver's airbag, the side airbag as well. Uh, it's pretty, pretty nice. And the inside, it looks like Nothing has happened, to be honest, as you can see here. But when you just have a closer look at the outside, you can see how the cars collided, all the parts on the ground, you can see that. We have the wheels of the EQA right over here. This is so interesting. I mean, the car is over there. 
there is the collision point and then we have one wheel right over here we have the tire right over there we have the headlight of the uh, EQS SUV I think right over here it's just crazy the way everything split apart uh, let me also have a closer look on the EQA for you so here you can see the front of the EQA I mean not a lot has been left uh, but safe to say the drivers the co-drivers safe in the inside I mean the 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 windshield is shattered and we have a few interior parts here flying around we have the airbags outside knee airbags the co driver side airbags the warning the hazard lights and on uh, we have a lot of glass parts as you can see as the front is completely shattered uh, after the collision but uh, safe to say the co driver and driver is actually safe in the inside there's no huge damage or harm to both of these and the inside looks pretty pretty okay whereas in the outside especially in the front the car is completely destroyed it's just crazy even though it wasn't that fast I mean it's just 56 kilometers an hour you can see the EQS front here and then the EQA being thrown onto the left side here and then you have all the parts here in the middle especially with the cooling liquids it's just so interesting to see what do you guys think about it it's super impressive, as I mentioned, in the inside of the cars, the co-driver, the passengers and the driver especially is super safe and looks kind of okay, but from the outside the cars look super, super destroyed and devastated. You have the front panel grille from the EQA laying around over here, one tire, a lot of parts, the windshield wipers, I don't know, uh, we have one wheel on the back over there and uh, yet again, as I mentioned, the inside looks pretty okay. So what do you guys think about this? First time seeing this also for me. I need to realize this is so cool. Guys, there's something super interesting that I have to mention. And uh, I mean, you can see how the windshield is cracked, but the display on both cars is not split or something. You can see it's just normally functioning and you can even still use it. You also have all the um, warnings on the display itself and also a few more warnings over here. It's uh, pretty safe to say that the displays inside the Mercedes is like one of the safest. Also on the EQS, the hyper screen, let me show you that. It's just so crazy also here on the EQS SUV, as I mentioned. I mean, we have the windshield not shattered or something it's just still intact there's not even one single bump on the uh, windshield but when you have a closer look on the hyper screen there is not even one single damage on the hyper screen at all uh, it's been a very very yeah, heavy crash there's a front collision and there's no single scratch or it hasn't shattered at all and this is something that makes the interior of the mercedes super super safe we have the airbags deployed on the on the steering wheel on the co-passenger side also on the side over there as well but the display is all intact and the inside looks super super safe special thanks to mercedes-benz for inviting us for showing us these kind of things I'm, I'm really really impressed by the work and the effort they've put in here on these cars to make them as safe as possible and this is just a demonstration of mercedes-benz building one of the safest cars outside and inside as well hope you enjoyed today's video already looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day i will be back